Uh, it uh, looks like Give, Send, Go is now working in full force, as far as I can tell, uh, for the new place you can donate money to the Canadian Trucker Convoy. And, um, man, it's getting it's getting pretty hot and heavy. It's getting pretty, pretty crazy out there. Um, now, Give, Send, Go was experiencing uh, a DDoS attack. Um, and this is all, of course, after GoFundMe stole the money and colluded with the Canadian government, you know, the elitists of Silicon Valley and uh, the federal government in Canada and the city council members of Ottawa colluding to steal the working class people's money and give it to basically charities of their like liking. Um, and uh, now we have Give, Send, Go. Uh, this is a, a, a very pro-freedom uh, Christian um, organization that's very similar to GoFundMe, and they won't delete your money, uh, and they won't steal your money. So I, I dropped the link in my previous video for it, and of course, the comments uh, are, are just full of people that don't watch the video. Of course, I mentioned in the video many times that, uh, you know, uh, because of the overwhelming support and... Um, the fact that Give, Send, Go isn't that large, it was overwhelming their servers, and it just came out now that they were experiencing DDoS attacks from obviously unknown sources, but obviously it's probably the Canadian government or something. Um, and that's basically the same thing. It overwhelms the servers for them, and they can't uh, operate the website. You get an error message, 504 error and I, I mentioned that in the video, uh, you know, the previous video I posted on this whole thing. But, of course, people don't watch the video. They just leave a comment. You dropped the wrong link, dude. It says error 504. I say in the video it's going to say error. Error. Uh, you got to be patient. Um, but uh, people just, they just comment. They don't watch the video. Uh, I don't know. It, it happens every time. But, so, we do have good news, though. It seems to be working. So, if you go to give, send, go. Let me see here. Go to Give, Send, Go. Freedom Convoy 2022. And it is working. And we've already raised $2.4 million in a matter of basically one day. but and, and really, it's probably less than a day because half that time the servers were down. <laughs> it's remarkable. And the largest donation... Um, I don't know if I can, I could probably pull it up here, but either way, you just go here. Uh, the largest donation so far was over $200,000 uh, from an anonymous source. It, it's just amazing, all the support. $200,000, think about that. Um, so pray and contribute if you can. And uh, they ain't going to stop us. They ain't going to stop us, of course. You know, they'll do everything they can. Because, you know, the police with their batons and their pepper spray just isn't going to do the trick with 18-wheeler Mack trucks and hundreds, if not thousands, of, of other cars and trucks and, and, and just thousands of people. You're just not going to be able to do it. Tow companies are saying no. They're stuck. And this is a good thing. This is a good thing. The people of Ottawa and your ancestors, by the way, uh, I mean, your descendants, I should say, in the future, we'll, we'll thank you. You're on the right side of history. Just remember that. You're on the right side of history. You're heroes. You're heroes, literally. Um, and, uh, like, you'll be remembered as, like, the generation that stood up against this. So that's a really good thing. And, you know, just um, keep your head up and, and pray and um, now GoFundMe, um, interestingly enough, has decided to automatically give refunds to everybody who contributed to the Freedom Convoy campaign through their website. Of course, like I said before, this is $9 million stolen from the people by GoFundMe. Um... Now, this is all a ploy because many of us, including, you know, you know me in my previous video, I, you know, I said at the end of the video, again, I had comments telling, telling me I should have said this, but I did say at the end of the video that, and I still think you should do this, by the way, 
whether or not they say they're going to refund everybody who contributed, but I still think you should do this as soon as possible. File with your credit card company fraud. Whatever you contributed to GoFundMe, say that was a fraud, that transaction, because they used that money for something that you didn't approve, right? It was a fraudulent transaction that you didn't get what you paid for. So file a uh, claim with your credit card company for that transaction and they get charged chargebacks. They announce that they're going to refund all of it to everybody automatically because we said we're, we're going to do this and they want to avoid the mass chargeback because it will hurt them. And that's the point. So I think we should tr at least try to do it anyway. Maybe your bank will say it wasn't fraud or something, but still try to do it. Everybody file a claim with your credit card company. They're trying to get around this by automatically refunding everybody so you can't file the claim. I would do it probably right away and I would um, try to get that through so they're, they're, they're charged chargebacks because what they did was fraudulent and this is a great way to sort of take them down, make it hurt for them. Because I think each chargeback they get, it's like 29 bucks or something, like 30 bucks. And then if you got like thousands, if not millions of people doing that, I mean, it can really get take a big hit on them. So that's the goal. Um, now, this whole thing is spreading across Canada and the world. You have Quebec last night, Quebec City last night. Look at this. They're just partying. I'm not going to play the music because it's like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like, uh, what's that song? It's definitely going to be copyrighted. It's like a hip hop song. So um, I think it's like Usher or something, but they're just partying. It's it's a great time there. Uh, very fam family friendly as well. And um, same thing in Ottawa. I don't think they had a dance party in Ottawa. They had they had a lot of things for the kids in Ottawa that I was seeing. They had like the pop up, uh, what do you call it, um, moonwalk things, right? Uh, for the kids and little obstacle courses. And in, in Quebec City, it looks like it looks like a little more of a party, you know. But I don't know. I'm not there. It just looks it looks fun either way. So it's also breaking out now in Belgium. Look at this. The farmers in Belgium have taken over the streets. <laughs> They've taken over the streets. Look at this. The tractors. Oh, so based. And they're, uh, they actually like towed <laughs> the police away. What? they like, look at this. That's so funny. Um, so this is in Germany. Or I'm sorry, Belgium. What am I talking about? Brussels. But, or yeah, it's in Belgium. Not Germany. <laughs> Belgium is a country. So, um, yeah, isn't that interesting? Isn't that, isn't that great to see? And also, we now have the D.C. Freedom Convoy in America. It's scheduled to be on March 7th. And this is the new development. Um, and it, so this is like a month away. So... People have time to uh, organize. Organize. I'm here in Rhode Island, so the northeast route for anybody who's in the northeast, I would say what, like north of Jersey or something, Jersey, Delaware, Pennsylvania, um, on the northeast. This is the route for you, and I think a lot of this even covers even a little bit south of that. But, you know, this is like Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, all of New England, uh, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New York, um, etc. And there's a Facebook group, which I'm sure will be deleted soon. But, but, but I mean, it has 33, no, interesting, interesting number there, right? Uh, 33,000 members, and it's growing rapidly. And there's a lot of good info here on it. Uh, but also, I mean, I would I would first join the Gab group. It's like a mirror uh, group um, for the Northeast Convoy. This is the Northeast route. Uh, Facebook and Gab. Um, I joined both. I would suggest joining both of those. And most importantly, probably, well, that's the Rhode Island one. But uh, the, 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 uh, this is the Rhode Island one. Because each state has their own. But also it connects into the Northeast one. 
And then I'm sure like uh like the West has one, you know, the West Coast has one and everything. But I'm in the Northeast, so that's the one I'm talking about. And I'm in Rhode Island, but there's also a Northeast Telegram group. I'm gonna leave the link for the Northeast Telegram group. It's um T dot me slash Northeast Convoy. And this is the Rhode Island one. If anybody's watching in Rhode Island, I mean there isn't many of us. It's the smallest state in the whole country, but um I think I have a few Rhode Island viewers. Uh, I, well, some of my buddies uh, watch, but it's probably the only Rhode Island viewers I have. But um, yeah, so now uh, back to um, that's March 7th. So we'll see how that develops. But I do want to talk about how some of the city councilors in, um, in Ottawa are calling for the police to not necessarily arrest everybody because they know that would be bad optics, but the Ottawa city councilors are calling for people to be ticketed and towed and everything to be broken up, and they they want to use police to do this. It's really interesting because many of these city councilors, including Sean Menard, was just they were just calling for defunding the police and getting rid of the police in Ottawa, and now they're begging the police to help them isn't that isn't that interesting how that works these people do not actually believe in anything they say or do do you really think a guy like sean menard or any of these city councilors calling for this that were the leftists in 2020 calling to defund the police really want to defund the police or are they just supporting a movement that will make them look more uh virtuous in the eyes of the cosmopolitan new world order, of the pro-diversity, uh, you know, sort of nihilistic mishmash new world order. They're trying to push this great reset cultural uh, nullification. I should say that's really, it's like a cultural nullification of everything. Very, very creepy uh, endeavor. And, 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 yeah, defund the police is, is one of the things they were pushing, but they're just total hypocrites because now they're asking and begging these police. As you can see here, this city councilor, Sean Menard, um, asking for the police to ticket and tow vehicles, uh, to cordon off residential areas, uh, and to sort of push the protesters into areas that aren't residential. Um you know, to, to file court injunctions and, um, you know, use the police to, to remove the protesters and the vehicles and the trucks. So much for defunding the police. These people, again, they don't really believe what they're doing. It's about virtue signaling, all of it. So that's why they're caught tripping over their own feet. And, uh, they're, they're totally um, part of, of, of really a cult and they'll do anything to become a certified member of that cult. And that's why they're against your freedoms. And that's why they, are, they, they have no vision of what you really stand for because they're so blinded by their, um, their, their allegiance to their cult, whatever it is, right? So that being said, I'll leave links. Drop a comment below, like, share, and subscribe. Also... Give at the Give, Send, Go to the Freedom Convoy if you can. $2.4 million in like a day. It's pretty impressive. Let me know what you think. It's been Press. Keep your head up, stay real, and no fear.